This is Kung Nguyen. In the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on the journey to the beginning of the portrait drawing to show you how I start from a blank page to a very simple block in. So there are many ways to do this, a thousand ways maybe. I'm showing you one that's been very helpful to me and please take it from this process what makes sense to you and give it a try. Before we doing this, I would like to introduce the materials. The paper here is Canson paper called Ingress. The color is still gray, 27 pounds. You can easily buy them online. For the uh, pencil, I use charcoal pencil from Generals. Uh, I use um, 2B medium, 4B soft, and some white chalk for the highlight. Erasers, I use the knitted eraser. Some old brushes for blending. And the break off knife for uh, softening my pencil. That's all I need. So, are you ready? Let's start. So when I start my block in method, I like to make some landmark. Um, for I like to make landmark from the top and then the bottom. Then some in the left and then in the right. Okay, but I need to measure to find out the landmark is correct or not. But first, I will make here in the top of the head. And this is the bottom of his chin. Um, because uh, Michael have a beard. So I will move up a little bit maybe, you know, move up just like. So this is just his chin. And this is where the beard, okay. So Michael is um, um, looking three quarter bill. So that's very important to um, control the center line. The center line is the line is come along from his forehead, goes around the nose to right in the middle of the chin. You know. Here you go. And what I have so far. So time for me to find the landmark, the landmarks from the left, landmarks from the right. Um, the only way I can do it is measure. Okay, I measure it. Let's take a look and measure. Okay. So the distance, the height here is wider than the width. Then I just symbol make a little more here, and I can see that it might be somewhere right here. You know, that's though we can adjust when I um, when I uh, drawing. Uh, I will continue to measure and double check if that landmarks these landmarks are correct or not okay so now time for me to um, do uh, the envelope technique it's mean I'm just symbol you know just draw a union straight line symbol drawing the shape of uh, the outlines of Michael head at this point it's just no details okay we focus on the symbol big shaped and then later on we're gonna break it down to smaller shapes you know I did I will very simple line I make make sure that I have somewhere here sometimes I like to make the landmark in uh, break the head by half this half and other half so I can easy for me to find all the landmarks such as in this case when I break it up here I think it's right here is his eyes 
and I can see that you see the brows up here somewhere then I know that the end of this hat the outside of the hat is right here and I will simply make another straight line and Again, I need to correct them a lot, but in general, I have a big shape. Uh, it's easy for me to control, and later on, I will turn it to um, smaller shapes, and I can continue to build in more details. Okay, just here, looking for the relationship with the end of the head, this corner here, compared to the end of his ear. And I see that's the head also here, and the symbol half is here, so it's right here somewhere. Just rough. So now I have the shape, the head of my closet here. With this technique, block in technique, you never go out of space on your paper. You always control and you know exactly how big the head should be, okay? Make sure that I have that relationship in here. This is the shape of the neck. You can see that outside the head here. This is the neckline. You can see that here. It's important to learn um, to control um, the proportion. With the block in technique, uh, it's happy to train your eye to see proportion better, okay? Alright, so make sure that the cheekbone here and the ear I can have symbol have this outside and, and sometimes I think about the negative uh, space as well looking for that shape outside here, here and see how it goes, okay? Bottom of the beard, the beard might be a little bit gonna go a little bit longer in here I have. You see, that is uh, the head of Michael. It's simple like this. And I'd like you to take turn, take time to to look and compare. Now, time to um, measure. Okay, measure is a very important state in here. Um, see, Michael wears a hat, and we don't usually see his hairlines in here. So we just measure from the brows, the bottom of the nose, somewhere in here. And the bottom of the chin would also have a little beer that is stand by the beer. So it's a little bit challenging, uh, but we can do it. So I can measure this from the this is this is the middle of his eyebrows. This is the bottom of the nose here. And I know that it should be somewhat. Here we go. It should be around somewhat it. I can find the chin. I'm gonna make the chin a little bit longer. And this is the beard, okay? So that's what I need. Uh, my eraser, erase my first landmarks in here. So, this is the envelope. A very simple, big shape. The time for me to break, uh, break down it, to make it's a little bit um, um, easier for me to control by uh, breaking it into smaller shapes. Uh, from this distance here, it's the middle of the brows. I'm kind of guessing here. This is somewhat the lies up there from the top of the uh, head. It's curved somewhat. Don't worry much too much about the curved lines here, okay? Using straight lines, it's much easier. This side of the head compared to this, it's a little bit higher. So, this is the brows. I can find the bottom, the top of the ear is lower and his eyebrows is about right here. And I can see that there is a hat wearing. 
You see what I'm doing? So time for me to measure again to find is this this is this line jaw line here is correct or not? I need to measure from the cheekbone to this line and compare with maybe the end of the beard to how far it go from his uh, forehead. Let's measure it. So now this turn is about from here. It the move from his beard to his eyebrows is equal to this turn. So I make to make sure that this a little bit slightly smaller. Okay? This is a jaw like here. And this is the beard. Come in. And you can see that. Bottom of the nose. Bottom of the ear is a little bit lower. So you can hear this. Okay, so I have the jawline here. I know that the beard is go all the way here. And this is the jawline. This is the beard. Make sure that you see what I'm doing here, okay? Um, from this distance here, I know that the beard is going to be a little bit longer than a original landmark. That. You see, I'm just drawing a very simple line, okay? Nothing fancy, no detail, just working, just the outside shape. All right, look at this line, okay? Make sure, okay, that's take all time working on the outlines again. Okay, let's say that here is yeah, I'm start breaking down a little bit, make sure that a uh, uh, different shape is showing in here. And in the end of it, when you break down so many uh, form and shape in here, the features of my girl, like nose and eyes, and lip and ear, are going to reveal itself. Um, this technique is very important, very important in drawing. For uh, any kind of um, uh, art forms and uh, even though when you try to do different uh, uh, subject matter so as you want to do a still life it's still very you can use exactly the same technique for still life to control the proportion control the composition um, for figurative uh, the same thing uh, for uh, landscape same thing just you think about uh, a big shape in generals and then from general go to specific okay you see that I'm using check line and just symbol I'll think about in the end of it we're gonna find all the detail but now just think about all the trick line for that okay to see to block in the shadow as well that's the shape of the shadow
one down to working on his nose, the symbol make landmark. Uh, no detail. I'm looking for here a the shape of uh, the shadow. It's got a cast shadow if uh, underneath of his nose, okay? And just sometimes it's just symbol I shading it a little bit. Like that. Nothing fancy, okay? Should be a little bit. And here is uh I'm sorry, looking for the brows in here. It's great if you are are learning anatomy a little bit, okay? We need to learn uh, anatomy if you really want to be um, a portrait artist and you need to understand the anatomy of the head. Um, it's, uh, it's not very expensive to buy a skull. Uh, uh, you don't have to be a real one. Uh, it could be a fake one. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon. Uh, very reasonable. I just bought one. It just cost like $20. Uh, it's good to understand the structure beneath the skin, okay? It's very important to learn. You see here is the brows on top, and you see here is the bone, and that part here, if you can see that, it's like the eye socket. You see, I don't do any detail at this point. I'm looking for the whole part here. It's like the skull is just like eye socket, okay? And here is his cheekbone. And if I have this like here, I'm thinking about this like as well. Here is the bone. And behind that, go to the ear, symbol, feel that, looking for the corner of the eyes, from here, I maybe feel that, maybe there's tear duct somewhere, so right here, make a landmark there, the corner of his eye is somewhat, it touching the iris. Just seem to make a little landmark here. This is the field trum. You can see that a little bit of thinking for shape, okay? I'm looking for that side of it mustache. Go up here. Going down. Same thing in here. Another corner of the mouth. The, his, his mouth. curve in here too. It's a, it's a center like when it comes into the mouth it's curved in here a little bit. And that center right now is obviously from here along the nose, come along here of the nose, come back on the forehead. A block in it just like the foundation of uh, when you're building a house, okay? This is the beginning of the drawing. And I will do a few more uh, block in for the few uh, next episode. It's all about block in. Because it's so important for people to learn how to draw and you know uh, how to deal this with the first stage. If you don't know how to build it, uh, to control the drawing in the beginning, you're gonna be a uh, loss. You're gonna feel like, what can I do? So I draw the eye first, uh, and uh, it's just it's harder when you uh, don't have any concept how to start it. So uh, this is the first episode. It's about block in. I think the next one also block in, and the third one also block in before we go farther for learning features, learning how to do a drawing from start to end. 
Um, let's take a look in here. Okay, so you see that is the shape, and I have plants, some plants in here. Here is cheekbone. That's just micro hairline going to turn into a gear. Beautiful curve from this side. Come back here. Again, you see it's no details at all. I'm just looking for shape, forms. This is the plan, human plans. And now I have this eye socket here. I symbol shed in there a little bit. Block in the shadow a little bit. See what I'm doing, right? Here is the left, let do a little bit more of the left. Uh, it's good to learn all the human feature, uh, facial feature, okay? I always tell my students that you, they have to draw 100 eyes, 100 lips, 100, no, 100 nose, okay? Uh, you have to do it because if you don't do it, you don't remember our human uh, feature is very important to learn and to draw and the more you do it the more you learn just like Kung Fu you have to study you have to pass it all the time and drawing is very similar I believe any kind of art form is very similar you have to practice all the time no shortcut okay and no skill you want to be a good artist and know excuse and I'm too busy. Oh, come on, pick up a pencil. Draw, okay, you don't have to be, you don't have to be, uh, you know, uh, a final uh, detailed drawing, but at least you can sketch something. You see that in, in uh, that's my first start of my goal project. That is a, uh, uh, the part is very important and I I want to show you how to block in so here I have the uh, the basic information so time for me to break it down even smaller in detail and start working on uh, eyes and nose uh, make it more I try to looking for his liners okay This is my very soft brush and I love this brush. It's time for me to solve all my original uh, drawing. You can use paper tower too. Uh, some people like prefer paper tower. And in this case, I can show you both technique. Uh, you, can use, you can use the brush and you can use paper tower. Everything, a little bit. Don't, don't, don't push too much pressure on the paper, okay? You don't want to put too much pressure on the paper. You want the light is softer, so easy for you to have a new lines on top of it, but you don't want to ruin the surface of the paper. Remember that, okay? Remember that. You know what I have? Let's start with the nose, okay? Um, some artists like to start with uh, the eyes, but for I love to start with the nose. And please do not ask me why. I just feel that it's easy for me. But if you like to start with the uh, the eyes, is uh, totally fine, okay? It's not wrong with it. That you see what I'm here doing here? The, I'm drawing the shadow. Make sure that I'm drawing a good shadow here. If I want to make the drawing done, uh, 
then it takes me at least at least four hours. But for this demo, I'm just focused on uh, the block in part. Uh, so I'm not gonna go um, too much in detail. Okay, so that I don't know how long it's gonna take me, but I hope it don't not take too long. Okay, I hope so. It's not gonna take me too long for this. Love to draw nails. Again, uh, you need to learn anatomy of the nails. Okay, they are glands over here, top of the gland, and another gland were hidden behind the sign. So, nose is very one of the feature is sticking out the most. It's very three dimensional. So notice when you talk to someone, um, the nose is the part is sticking out the most, okay? But that's the funny to say this, but when you talk to people, you should look at their eyes, not their nose, okay? <laughs> All right. Try to make the shape simple for now. A few things to, uh, to uh, very important to remember that in human face, um, I believe uh, some of them, uh, if you've been drawing a uh, portrait or uh, even you are amateur or you are a professional artist, you notice that uh, we don't have this guy here. Is in general the bottom of the hairline somewhere around here. To write in this part is the middle of the eyebrows. And from the eyebrows, middle out of the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose, and the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. In general, no distance are equal. And no matter if you are um, in, um, a woman or man or. Uh, different rates. In general, again, though distance are equal in general, but because we are, are different from each other here and there, so some people might have a little bit long, longer nose, some may have uh, higher foreheads, some may have longer chin, okay? In this case, I have worked with Michael many times. If you uh, following me, you know that I pan and draw Michael many times. And I know exactly his proportion and this distance from here to here for his, his um, uh, hair, uh, hairline are equal. Okay? Make, right, let's start with the brows here a little bit to make the shape a little bit better. This is the shape of his eyebrow. The uh, if you're asking what uh, pencil I'm using right now, I'm using um, uh, tubing medium. And later on, I'm going to use 4B. I might, I don't know if I need uh, need 6B for this stage, but let's see, okay? Again, I'm not hurry to go to the eyes yet. I have the shape here, I want to block in first. Symbol, bottom, the nose here should be a little bit longer, uh, I mean uh, wider, so, 
just do this to make it look a little bit just just the light a little bit rather not so yeah. Let me just come to the filter on. You can feel that a bit. Oops. This paper is uh, fantastic, very forgiving. I love it. Make sure that uh, all the shape here. Sometimes it look for like kind of abstract shapes. Don't even think about what you um, are, uh, the detail you're working on. Don't even think about oh, is that the eyebrow or what you just. Just look for the shape for it. for this case. Use the shape shadow. I can see just simple shape like this. And I'm just think about it. Just try to make it look like the, the same kind of shape. Okay. And later on, it just come to exactly it's a shadow from the hat. It's reveal itself. So I'm trying to guess, see if that angle is right or not. And we make a little bit more to this here. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, okay? Uh, we all is drawing is very forgiving, so this mistake is just, uh, the thing is it's gonna happen. So okay, no matter what, how good the artist you are, you still make mistake, okay? So. That's what the eraser for. Symbol correct. Looking for this again. Make it just a little bit harder. Try to make sure that the center light come in here. You can feel like a little bit to make sure to get that distance. I love drawing. I, I think it drawing is just so fun. From when you build from something um, on the paper, there nothing there, and now you can see the face coming out from it. Uh, I, I love it very much. Uh, for all the podcasts, even I'm doing pastel or oil, uh, or oil for my work, uh, drawing the past I enjoy the most. Cause I can just. Um, can see that the beginning state is so 
amazing to me and I you know they, I, I love to watch other artists too I went to YouTube and watch other artists uh, very generous sharing their knowledge and uh, I'm learning from them and then see amazing how um, from an empty canvas and just slowly start they are a fate uh, just appear I think that's amazing to me all right so let's take a look at the eyebrows again come back time to break in uh, uh, more uh, uh, smaller spaces okay I find that is the outside of his nose come here it might touching the tear duct this side I cannot see the tear duct in here but this side I can I can see that in here and I know that it's going to be a tear duct that is the corners of the eyes okay I have this and I noticed that the corner of the eye and the end of the eye is I think is in the same line so I make a little mark here make sure that is the eyes and I have that light come out I will go for detail later but now I'm just looking for the shape of the eyes okay not really detail yet a little upper lid same thing in here if I have this eye I will control here shadow block in the shadow now okay then I from the tear ducts here I try to find the lower lid somewhere it like that you see I'm using mostly straight lines I don't want to do color line at this point yet. Just simple, try using straight uh, line to draw all the feature. And later on, we can uh, work in for more detail. Okay. This is the under the, uh, the back under his uh, lower lip. Okay, so I feel this here is here is the cheekbone right here. Okay, so that part here is very important to learn by. If you have a skull, then you can see know exactly where the bone look like. This cheekbone here and another bone come behind the ear. This cheekbone go in here. one of the part you need to learn as well okay um, cannot just learn how to draw eyes and forgot about the ear it is also very important
shadow shape. Take partially a little bit lower. fun isn't it to see now you can see that the shape of his head of Michael head is revealed now so um, I too need to uh, go to the next step but before that I will use using my soft brush and I like to shop all uh, soften all the edges again before I go a little bit more for detail and uh, again, uh, this is I'm. Um, this is not my goal to finish the entire drawing. It's my goal here to show you a bit more at this stage how to build uh, the head from nothing, uh, from the beginning. Uh, is a uh, uh, 4B medium okay and again I start with the nose again lots of my students always asking me why did you like to start with the nose first I, I to be honest I don't know I think it's because uh, it's uh, it's the center of the face, so it's easy for me to control all the features, maybe. line and the, the detail will come okay at this point I'm just looking for shape looking for everything here in the shadow beautiful shadow form into his eye here sometimes you can use a brush like what I was uh, showing you before you just over and you can just symbol blending it a little bit. You can use 
this part, blending this part too. Filling the iris here. Just focus on shape of the iris. Maybe a little bit of sclerizing here. start look like him so it's great looking for the shadow here this is looking for shape again it's if you want to finish the entire drawing gonna take few more hours and Michael have to stay for like a couple hours to take with us. But here we just learn how to block in this almost there. The block in is almost there, okay? So let's try to work on that size of his ear. Let's come along, curve a little bit to the cheekbone, come down a little bit. Again, I'm not going to spend time and draw every single hair now. It's not at that point yet. At this point, I'm still looking for shape, okay? Here is the thickness of the beard. still try to control the center line here that center line to come like that own way own ways come back and check it okay because when we draw and when we start setting we start losing uh, losing your um our, our original um drawing line so it's it's good to come back and double check all the time
almost there. Almost there. So the last symbol make the shape of the mirror. Just like that. No detail with it, boy, okay? And I wouldn't spend time to do all the detail for this exercise. Uh, I just like to show you how to build a hat from the start of a portrait drawing. Okay, so it's no, uh, it's no detail at this point for a different episode. We're gonna go for a much longer demo. It's mean we're gonna go from drawing, shading, details, uh, but not for this episode, for this uh, demonstration. It's a very simple block in technique showing here. But if you get, get into this point like this, the rest of the drawing is going to go very uh, easy, okay? If you start learning how to block in, just like what I'm showing here, all the detail will come much easier. You wouldn't have to worry about the composition going wrong. You run out of space on your paper. That happens all the time. Some of my students, when they just started, they just so hurry try to go for details then I keep telling them that you should not worry about detail when you start the drawing okay there's no reason for that you just think about the big shapes and the smaller shape okay. next step I'm gonna use the white chalk to uh, do some highlight for I'm focused on the nose okay I'm looking for a uh, highlight from the nose there's a very beautiful highlight on top of the nose here. The technique I'm um, for shading, what I'm doing now is called cross uh, hatching. Okay. I think if you want to, to do a beautiful shading, you need to learn how to use, uh, to do cross hatching too. Uh, just exercise, okay? This is just do a loss of uh, the same movement. See what I'm doing here? And with, with different pressure. highlights on his upper lid you see that I'm still not even draw uh, the detail of the eye yet not for this state view yeah, but the little bit highlight on the eyes if you remember this here I'm gonna go for detail in the last stage and some highlight here
again this is uh, one of uh, many um, a way to do a blocking okay if you um, start study from different artists you can see that uh, all the artists have a very different technique and method how to do in this um, I'm often here is the way I'm working for my own uh, uh, drawing and painting uh, working from life uh, if I'm working from photograph I use exactly the same concept um, and I don't I'm not um, I'm not a, f a fan of uh, uh, tracing uh, because I believe if you do a lot of tracing you your drawing skill not gonna learn anything as you, you're not gonna be improved uh, you're gonna stuck there and you're gonna be uh, depend so much on tracing uh, so I like you to start drawing freehand even you use a photograph or you're using a working from life model a drawing from freehand is training your eyes your eyes your brains look at the proportion differently um, uh, please take it from this uh, method and if you think it makes sense to you and give it a try give it a shot okay So we almost there. I will use um, um, CP soft to go on detail a little bit more, such as uh, the eyes. You can see that I'm going to work on the iris a little bit. So it don't have to be so detailed at the point. We're still in the beginning state of the portrait. Okay, if I um, if I would finish the entire drawings of Michael, I might. I will show you uh, on a different episode. But for this one, it's just just a simple block in technique. Okay. I like you to learn from this and start uh, to draw. Now, don't be afraid of uh, drawing. I'm teaching uh, so many different workshops around the world. And most of the time, the student, the students are very uh, they afraid of drawing from life. They always request, can we draw from photographs? Can we use a trace? Uh, but I don't tell them that you can. If you everything, it have to be um, started. Okay. If you're afraid of doing this, you never learn. So the first time maybe is not a good. Maybe it could be a disaster, but if you do it for like one hundred times, it have to be better. It have to. If you do one hundred times, it's gonna be better. So uh, again, in art, is no shortcut. Again, that's remember for me. Is it no shortcut there in art? You have to learn. It's important to learn and uh, don't give up. Okay, that's the important part. It don't give up the first time is not that good okay try it again try it again you will like the next time okay just don't be afraid of it nobody um, uh, can start and draw a beautiful drawing no not at all it's all about training it's all about focusing and focusing and learning um, that's what I am. Um, it's for me that important to learn. It's important to focus and and learning. And it's a it's a non um, non stop process of learning. I'm still learning all the time. I'm learning from teaching. I'm learning from other artists, and it, you should learn until the rest of our life. So uh, it's great to learn. Okay. So we're almost there um, for this block in stage, uh, almost there. 
this is a very good uh, foundation for the next step with me and you gonna work more details uh, values um, to finish the drawing Just a little bit highlight here and there, and I will stop. And I hope that you enjoyed this episode and keep up drawing. Um, for the next episode, I will continue to show you how to block in. Again, it's a very, very important stage. It's the beginning of the drawing. If you have a good foundation, the rest of the drawing is gonna be. Uh, much easier for you to uh, to follow. If you have, if you don't have uh, a good foundation, then you're gonna be struggle entire time try to correct your own painting. Okay, so um, I would call is block in stage is done. Um, again, this is just the beginning of the drawing, and if we have time, you continue to develop it until the drawing completely finished. But we're not gonna do is the, uh, for this. Uh, the stage. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it and if you have any questions um, uh, send me a message, send me a, with the comments in here or uh, um, send me uh, to my emails then I will uh, try my best to answer your questions and uh, I'll pick up a pencil and draw. Uh, until next time. Bye bye.